Okay, I'm going to try to get over here in an area where the homes are. See, there's one over there that's already been sold. Here's how you can tell when you go in a new area if a house has been sold and people are living in it. If you look in the Lanai, if you see Lanai furniture, because it seems like that's some of the first things they move in. Over here, they're still building. here and turn left I think on this road right here yeah let's turn left right here take a look see right here Sarah's house it's already been sold four car garage boy that's nice damn I wish I had that a nice little house guy with a pickup truck that's kind of useless big van that's useless he still works that's why he's got that big van That's a nice little house. That's originally what I was looking for right there. Two car garage, a golf cart garage sitting next to it. Nice little front porch. My wife likes the idea of a front porch and a couple of rocking chairs. And there was a couple of them in my neighborhood. They don't build them all over, just here and there. And uh, we couldn't buy them. They said they weren't released yet and they couldn't give me a time frame on when they would be released. And I didn't want to just sit in limbo for who knows how long. So I jumped the gun. I probably should have waited, but I did. Now, you don't want to spend a price on these major houses. You can go in an area like this. These are villas. Patio villas, some of them are. Well, they all are, but I mean, some of them cost more than others. See that one there? Got two car garage added to it. That'll cost you a little, little more, but those are doable. With a two car garage like that, going for your car and golf cart, and then the next one over here, that one right there, I've seen it in the paper, starts around 169. This one right here, because a car and a half and, and a big lanai, those right there will sell for around 150 ish. Could be 154, could be 159, just depends on what's inside. By that I mean volume ceilings, tile instead of a linoleum. I'm gonna pull over, this guy's bugging me. tailgating me all through here and he's not going anywhere there's another one with two car garage about 169 ish and up you have to come and look at him to see uh, there's one there's a patio bill with a two car garage now see if I had that over my other house I probably would have just stayed there a small yard people some people like it some don't I do that means very low maintenance I don't have to spend a lot of time or a lot of money getting my grass mowed or any of that stuff there's another one that's got the sideways garage. It still has Lanai in there. So the price is all over. It's just it's just your lifestyle, you know, really. It's just what do you want to spend? That's really what it boils down to. But he's in a big hurry. I'm not sure about some of the colors some of them's got. But you know each their own like that color there I personally don't care for that but uh, to each their own about villas are is parking for guests it's just something to keep in mind oh I'm gonna go left they're working down here to the right and I don't want to take a chance on getting any nails in my tire and they're working up there too as you can see they don't look like they're working near as much let's go up here and see what we can find that's the worst that can happen right they're pouring a, pouring a cement slab there Looks done. Looks like they're painting on that house. Painting the wood up. This house uh, looks done. See, all these houses are done. There's a nice little house there with a the front porch. All these houses look done. 
but they may not be sold. And this is what happened in our neighborhood, that um, the house that I was really interested in wasn't released. And that's going to be the same thing here. They're not going to release these until, well, until the developer decides he wants to release them. And that's, that's the problem. Nobody knows. God damn it. I just turned my windshield wipers on trying to turn around. Nobody knows when they're going to release them. And that's totally up to the developer. So it's just something that you have to deal with all the time. still in Finney. We're still on the, I believe it would be the west side of the toll road. Um, so you don't really hear highway traffic in here. It still seems rather quiet other than the construction noise. The closer you get to the highway though, you're going to hear that, you're going to hear a little bit of that highway noise. So just keep it in mind that if you're interested in buying over here, and um, you see a house on the internet or something like that that you're calling about, I would ask that question. How close is that to the toll road? See what they say. Ask them straight out. Is that property um, sitting next to the toll road? Is it a block away from the toll road? Kind of get an idea. They'll tell you. In here, they're still, they're still working in there, developing. On this side of the road, they look like up in this area, they're pretty well done. Landscaping's done. I see cars parked. They're still working on one here. Well, they're still working on that whole street, it looks like. There's our neighborhood rec center right there. The postal station, swimming pool. Just like every other neighborhood. They all have their, that's called the Blue Heron Postal and Recreation. We all have our neighborhood pools and such. There's their um, horseshoe pits and bocce ball and and the such in there. So, as you can see here, see that piles and piles of dirt or sand, however you want to call it. That's how they begin a neighborhood. They go in, move it around, they put in their lines, sewer lines, gas lines, electric lines, the roads, all that's got to be done first. And there's the famous Fanny Putt and Play, right there. See it over there? You go over there and you can play, um, it's a putt and play. I don't know much about it, but what it looks like to me is a great big, it's not a miniature golf course. It looks like a, a series of holes on a green and I think there's like nine or 18 of them. And I don't know if you bring your own putter and, and do it or not, truthfully. I don't have no idea. But uh, uh, I'll, I'll find out later exactly what that is. They invent games all the time, so I'm not going any further. I'm not going any further because of nails and the problem. There's a guy walking around with some plans. But uh, yeah, you can see that they are making, uh, making progress quick. I can just about guarantee you, and I know that most of you probably won't believe me, if I was to come back in this exact same spot and, and take a picture over here on the left where you see that mounds and mounds of dirt, That would be full of houses in a year. I know that seems amazing, doesn't it? But, but I almost guarantee it would be. Well, I'm gonna try to get out of here. The truth is, I, I, I'm lost. <laughs> uh, I'm not used to this neighborhood and I don't even know how to get out of here. I mean, it ain't like they put up street signs saying this way out. I know I came down this road, so I'm going, I recognize a lot of this. 
looks like it's going to rain today. I wouldn't mind getting home and uh, getting my yard mowed before it rains. I ain't mowed it in two weeks. This time of year, grass kind of goes on lay-by. So it doesn't really hardly grow. Just in little, little patches here and there, it may grow a little. See all the molecular boxes sticking out? That's ready for development. As soon as these guys get done up here with the blue roofs and all that, that whole section right there, they'll move right over here. And just start in again. This whole uh, village's thing started in the 80s. And then when the baby boomers started retiring, this whole thing just went nuts. I don't know if there's any reason for it other than I can only tell you my particular reasons is it's an active community you hear about that all the time I bet I've been to 50 different retirement communities in the state of Florida and we wanted to go somewhere where they had things to do and not that the other places don't have things to do but the people living there the smaller recreational areas they uh, they didn't go out it's hot so they stayed in the house nobody went out you know, you saw them early in the morning, late at night. That is it. We didn't want that. Here, there's activities all the time, all day. All the way up until 9 o'clock at night. Um, there's something going on everywhere, all the time. And people here have things to do. I, personally, love the idea of being able to drive my golf cart and go anywhere I want to go. I don't need a car, and that's a fact. executive course is over there. I don't know if that's Grace Girl or Red Fox, but that's what that is right over there. Okay, we're on our way out. I knew I'd get this thing figured out. There's people here that uh, will work building these houses, doing whatever it is they do, plumbing, electric, construction, roofing, whatever, and they'll retire right here landscapers I and mean, these people uh, these people that, that, that's down here they've uh, truth of it is they've never seen a job opportunity like they got now with all the baby boomers coming down here they uh, they've seen a big massive increase in um, work and employment all right we're going back down the road best as I can trying to hold this camera so it doesn't bobble very much those are courtyard villas over here behind that brick wall that's another villa option they're a little more expensive but they're very very nice inside I've seen them most of them are three bedroom uh, those are a little pricey I'd rather buy a house than a villa oh, that's just my own preference okay all this over here to the right is going to turn into a uh, part of the villages it's just a matter of time you can see the village's house back there that's the area we were just driving around in it they're working in I'm out here on the, the main road which is actually Morris Boulevard but it is what it is that cemetery there will never go nowhere obviously uh, that church and stuff will probably stay there until the village just buys it that happens a lot They'll build the village around the church, and they just recently bought one. And uh, what happens is uh, the village just decides they'd like to have that property to build another rec center on, and that thing you know, they just start talking negotiations, and it's just one of them deals, you know, where they just they make them an offer they can't refuse. They just bought a church on the north side of the villages. I think they paid like $1.1 million for it, and they're going to turn it into a rec center. And what that probably means is they're going to tear the church down and build a new rec center. They always say they're going to turn it into a rec center, but they usually end up tearing it down. Okay, we're getting up here by the toll road. I just want you to see how far they're going to be building here. We're, this still is probably going to be the Fenny area, all the way up here. See it over there? They're still building. They went around that little community back there. Um, I'm, I'm saying that that community is done for. They just don't know it yet. I'll make them a good offer. Uh, and, uh, you know, 
they'll either take it or leave it. I, I'm going to say they'll, the offer will be good enough, they'll take it. Farmers out here, you know, it took them 100 years to make the money they can make off the profit by selling it. So I can't really blame them. All that over there is the villages, property, all of it. Um, like I was saying before, see that covered wagon right there? It says villages on the side. That's to let you know that they bought all this. And those covered wagons are all up and down this road. So they bought all that pasture field there. There's the toll road, right there. Eventually, the Benny is probably gonna come right up here by the toll road. Now, what they may do next to the toll road is they may put areas like recreational centers and things like that and keep the houses further away from the toll road but just keep in mind and right there that pipe right there see it stack there on this side of the toll road all of this is going to be the villages of southern oaks and it's going to be the village of southern oaks all the way up to highway 44 uh, that's right there uh, matter of fact they're over here clearing this off now see all that over there this is all going to be the village of Southern Oaks over here. And uh, that goes all the way up to 44, where I was sitting at the stoplight a while ago and telling you the Morse Boulevard uh, stopped right there. 